the the, sm uh, the smell is quite intense for a blend. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today we have a look at the Johnny Walker Gold Label Reserve. 40% ABV and well, much more expensive than the standard red label or even the black label I tasted here or the double black I also tasted already. Well, the Gold Label Reserve had a predecessor called Gold Label, 18 years old. The age is gone from this bottle, but there's a new bottle on the market. It's called Platinum, 18 years old. So there's an inflation in metals from gold to platinum. Well, we look at this bottle today and uh, there's a range, as I said, from red label, black label, 12 years old, double black, no age statement, uh, up to this gold label, then the platin platinum, 18 years old. Uh, then we have the blue label, the King George V, and then the private collection already 500, 600 dollars, euros, pounds, and top of the range, the Johnny Walker Odyssey. Yes, I had the chance to taste that also. It was 800 euros a bottle. Mm -hmm. This was no blended whiskey, but a blended malt whiskey uh, produced out of three uh, malt whiskies, and I'm afraid the bottles are already gone. The Gold Label Reserve is constantly on the market. It was uh, brought into the market in 2013. Um, well, and it really shows that it's something special, that is more expensive. It's not too expensive. It's 40 euros, 50 dollars. Uh, it's a better bottle than the typically mass market bottle of Johnny Walker. It's a, a thick glass bottom, it's heavy, and uh, the, the gloss, the brilliance of the glass is much more yeah, rewarding. The color is uh, very golden, and on the back is written with color. <coughs> um, well, Johnny Walker established 1820, and uh, this one is all officially called the Master Blender's Reserve, finest malt and grain whiskies. What's the Master Blender? Well, the Master Blender is responsible for the selection of casks which are mixed into this blended whiskey. And there are, well, in former times, Master Blenders were widely unknown to the public, and today those are artisans. They are, well, they are famous people, and Jimmy Beveridge, the master blender of uh, Johnny Walker, he's a very knowledgeable person. Um, <clears throat> well, on the box, there's more to say. Well, the striding man, the dandy, uh, is walking from left to right. Well, this is a new one. In former times, before 1990, I think, <laughs> the striding man walked to the other side. Well, we're writing from left to right, and so this direction in walking is thought to be positive. <laughs> so they changed it. 40% ABV. Uh, by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen, so they got a royal warrant. When John Walker first established the family business in 1820, he began a lineage of blending exper expertise that continues unbroken to this day. Mm. Heritage. Carefully honed skills have been handed down from generation to generation, with the result that today Johnny Walker Gold Labor Reserve is testament to almost two centuries of blending excellence. Well, this might be true. 
Johnny Walker Gold Label Reserve has been personally crafted by the Johnny Walker Master Blender as a celebration of his art. He has handpicked prized casks from selected reserves, each matured to perfection, to create a bold blend of intense flavors which is every bit as luxurious and indulgent as its name suggests. Johnny Walker Gold Label Reserve. It's reading really ugly. Johnny Walker registered trademark gold label reserve trademark is a luxurious and full flavored blended scotch whiskey in the tradition traditional Johnny Walker style celebrating the unique distillery character of the individual whiskies used in this in its blending it is a beautiful balanced scotch whiskey created for moments of genuine celebration Jimmy Beveridge um, <clears throat> there was a press release when this bottle came to the market and then there they said uh, taste it uh, neat or mixed or in a big glass with crushed ice and orange slice. No, never do that. Only neat. The master blender did a wonderful job. Don't mix that up by adding ice. You won't taste anything. Bah. <clears throat> so now we're looking at the inside of this bottle so this is premium cork this is no complete natural cork but it's a, a glued cork from pieces so that there will be no or the chances that you will have a bad cork is very very low <clears throat> Wonderful golden colored. Uh, the gold label comes from uh, a river where Johnny Walker draws water from. And in this river, the first time gold was found in Scotland at all. Uh, there are some hills in, in the Neurons. I never found those uh, hills on, on Google Maps. Um, and there shall be this gold creek, gold river, gold whatever. <laughs> there are some bottles of this one on the market uh, where the bottle is completely golden looks awesome huge display around for plastic also golden so this is a golden impact add a, <laughs> an ounce of pure gold and give it uh, to a friend yes that's it <sighs> A light hint of smoke, not very much. A little, well, seaweed, yodian, faint spiciness. The, the, sm uh, the smell is quite intense for a blend. And officially they say they select the casks with no relationship to age. Well, whatever that means, definitely it means there will be younger whiskies in it, probably to preserve the older casks for the platinum and to add additional strong aromas to the whiskey. The longer whiskey rests in the casks, the more it will become smoother and mellow and and if you want to have a an impacting whiskey, which is very trendy today, then you have to add younger casks. And this shows quite an impact in your nose. And more malt than bland, than grain whiskey. I would suggest at least a third malt, even more. And if you vary the distance to the glass, 
then the smoke comes out a lot better. Have a sip. Strong, full, intense, and bitterness is coming up. Going over to almonds, marzipan, and this bitterness is not a spicy bitterness, but it's a an oaky bitterness. So also here, uh, multiple reuse casks are used for this blending and the bitterness comes up but it's already gone so it's not too strong there's this bitterness coming passing by telling you here oakiness but it's already gone the long aftertaste is much better than the immediate aftertaste with this bitterness <sighs> resins Toffee, oakiness. Now the mold opens up in this blended whiskey. It's very difficult to say if you have a malt whiskey or a blended whiskey. Well, the grain, the grain is not that intense. If you have a lot of grain in a blended whiskey, then you're able to detect it very easily. But the less grain you have in a blend, the more complex it will be and the more difficult it will be to detect the grain. Mm -hmm. Again, this light bitterness immediately present. Not when the, the whiskey goes from your tongue and then the bitterness appears. No, immediately when the whiskey is on your tongue, the bitterness is there. It's like uh, bitter almonds. Yes. I once took an almond from a wild almond tree and it has this light bitterness in it. Strong bitterness. Yeah. Creamy in texture. It's a very good blend. One of the best I had. <clears throat> and if I remember right, uh, this one is in the same class as the blue label is. The blue label is completely different because it had 80% malt whiskey in it, but the quality, it shows the quality of the blue label. So good work and uh, it won't be take f too long that I will taste the 18 year old platinum here. Um, and I remember that that was better than this one. Yeah, and sometime I will have King George V. Perhaps for the 500th video here on my channel. Probably. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned and feel free to give your comments in our whiskey database on whiskey.com.